Look at this. T, 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 and more T. If you're in Japan and you like tea, this ryokan just might be your dream vacation spot. We took a trip to Lake Kamana in Shizuoka Prefecture. One of the things the prefecture is most known for is green tea. In fact, 40% of Japan's green tea is from here. If you ever pass through the prefecture, look out the window and you'll see fields of tea everywhere. And as a photographer, it's quite photogenic. Some of you probably know this by now, but my wife and I are big fans of the Hoshino Resort's Kai Line. Most ryokans will give you a nice place to stay and a couple of good meals, but one thing that Hoshino Resorts does really well with their Kai Line is create a resort concept that really dives into the local culture of the area it's in. For Hoshino Resorts Kai Enshu, that concept is green tea. But before we went in for a caffeine fix, we checked into the room. This is apparently a large. It's <laughs> it's way too short. Okay, I'm not a giant, so there's a chance you'll need to ask for a bigger size shirt. At the entrance of the main indoor lounge area are these fancy looking cold green tea dispensers. There are several different kinds of tea with explanations about what they are and how they're brewed and you can freely pour yourself the ones you want to try. Nearby is a long counter with personal teapots and about 13 different tea leaves with explanations and recommendations on how to brew each. It's self-serve and you can make yourself a pot of tea and take it somewhere else in the resort to enjoy, or you can just hang out in their lounge-like library. It overlooks the tea garden and lake outside, so it's really beautiful. The onsen baths here are part of the Kanzanji onsen area. There are two outdoor baths with natural onsen water. Both are relaxing and staying with the theme, one of the baths has baskets of tea floating in the water. Right outside of the onsen area is the tea garden. Along with the lake, it's the main focal point of the resort and it's the view from the rooms and the library. You can have some tea or enjoy a free popsicle that they have and just kick back here. One of the activities that the resort provides is a tea brewing activity. An instructor teaches you specifically how to brew the green tea that they're serving. We're then given three cold teas and we're challenged to guess which one was the same as the hot one that we just made. I got it wrong. Dinner time. Meals at Hoshino Resort's Kai locations never disappoint. After dinner, they served a tea-infused cocktail and we just relaxed before calling it a night. With a lake view right in front of the beds, mornings are beautiful. And breakfast, of course, the main dishes were served in a box of tea. After another dip in the onsen and more lounging around over tea, we packed up and headed out. If you're in the area and you like tea, this just might be the place for you. Oh, and another thing that Shizuoka is known for is unagi. Like, two of my top three unagi places that I've ever eaten happen to be in this area. Fluffy, super tasty, just so good. <laughs> 